Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. I am genuinely so excited for today's video because I have been wanting to go thrift shopping so, so badly. But as many of you guys know, due to the whole coronavirus situation, a lot of thrift stores and just unnecessary stores closed down. However, in the past month, or I believe like the past couple of months, a lot of thrift stores have reopened um, and they definitely are taking precautions to make sure everyone stays safe and everything. And I thought for today's video, we are gonna go to a couple of different thrift stores over the course of the next couple of days. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. You're gonna thrift with me. I'm gonna share with you guys the things I find. We might even do a couple thrift flips. I'm not 100% sure yet because as many of you guys know, I am working on my living room makeover next. That is the next project for this channel is my living room and it's gonna be going up towards the end of this month. However, I really don't have that much to decorate with in there. I only have the couch so far, the media console, which you guys saw me recreate from Ikea. So I wanna thrift a ton of really fun finds for my living room, whether they be furniture pieces, decor elements, wall decor, like accessories, whatever it is I am ready to go thrifting and find it so as you can see there's still painter tape on the wall everything is a work in progress but it is fine it looks good from this angle right period I found this girl on TikTok her username is blazed and glazed and she does such incredible thrifting videos like just take a look at this Queens, I am finally taking you through my favorite thrift stores in Los Angeles, aka the best spots for the Fire Us Lukes. Coming in hot in first place is the SVD PLA Thrift Store, the largest thrift in LA, and really gives you that like warehouse vibe. All of their profits go toward aiding people in LA experiencing homelessness, so it's a great place to support. Now, just down the road from there, you will find the Out of the Closet Superstore that is massive and has a great selection of clothing and really does bring it with the sexiest home decor moments. I scored these babies for 15 bucks. Fall is in the air as well. Um, I just finished my Michaels class too so this is literally what i'm standing on right now i filmed my michael's class right here we made these wreaths so so pretty now i have two of them but you know two is better than one so happy about that and one last little announcement for you guys i'm running a labor day sale over on my website there's some amazing discounts it's a buy more save more sale so check the link in the description box below in case you want to pick up some lone fox goodies <laughs> So I mentioned to you guys earlier how I've been to the strip store before, but I've never actually looked at their home decor section. It's actually huge. Like this is the size of a normal thrift store. Actually really organized too, like tons of plates and dinnerware over here. Couches, there's chairs on the other side. Those are kind of cool shaped couches there. Then lots and lots of actual home decor finds across these shelves here. I already found this kind of cool bowl, honestly. Like this is like a carved wood bowl. It's like black, but it has these little, it has this like rattan detailing kind of on the edge a little bit, but this is perfect for the coffee table. Okay, come through World Market. This was $34.99 from World Market. It's actually really nice too. It's $12.99 here. I mean, pretty good, honestly, for like a marble and wood cake stand. This is 29 cents. Heading on into the boutique now. Are you kidding me with this dresser right now? Yeah, 245. Oh my gosh. You send it to that girl. Yeah, look at the details, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's a nightstand. That matches it. So for my bedroom, which you have not seen yet, I actually ordered literally this identical dresser, but it was it actually came in this color as well, but I had the girl redo it to be black and I could have literally done it myself but I'm glad to support her anyways because she has a business kind of upcycling these styles of dressers. These are French provisional dressers. I believe that's how you say it. Provincial. 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 French provincial. Okay, why does this thrift store have the coolest pieces, you guys? Look at this console. It's a bit pricey, $4.99, but it is like quartz or like I don't even know what this is. Some stone with an iron frame base. Look at how much stuff they have here. This is insane. I never checked out the furniture section before, but I will be here all the time. I 
just got back in my car and I can tell you guys right now that that thrift store is packed with larger items. So if you are looking for furniture, chairs, tables, especially dressers or bedroom furniture, I highly suggest checking out this thrift store. However, I didn't find that they had a lot of decor pieces at all. They had a couple of rows of decor, but a majority of it was like glassware and dinnerware. I think there was probably only like a, like there, there was probably only one full row of actual like decor elements. So I picked up a couple of things. I found three items. However, from the girl's guide on TikTok, um, she actually said there was another thrift store called the Out of the Closet Superstore down the street. I'm going to head over to that store and see if I could find any more decor style elements. Found this textiles for residential and commercial interiors book. Actually kind of cool. Six dollars. But you know, a coffee table book like this, well a hardcover one would normally be like 50 or so. So I think I'm gonna grab this. Look how cute this brass little wood holder is for the fireplace. It's ten dollars. But we do have a fireplace, it's a faux fireplace. But if I put this kind of next to it and added some maybe some logs in there, it kind of will give you the vibe. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's so cute. This little ceramic light is so cute too. I'm not sure for the living room. It's $15, which is a little high, but I think it will be really cute on my dresser and my bedroom makeover. So I think I'm gonna grab this as well. Guys, Marie and I hit the jackpot this time. Ooh, we got the cute little um, wood stand, which I want to like put firewood in there or something, just to, like emulate the look. This really cute ceramic lamp, some of these, and then this pitcher too, which I don't think I showed you it, but it's so cute for the living room. All right, you guys, I'm literally reclined my chair all the way back because it's so bright. The sun's literally shining right on me. But synopsis on that thrift store. Wow. I can just tell you that they had so many unique items in there. It was very boutique vibes. Like it just honestly felt like I was inside of almost like an urban outfitters with like a surplus of items in it. Like it just was really, really cool. They had really great items. I will say though that the prices there are a little bit higher, but there are some good gems in there like this piece for $10. Great deal, I thought. However, some of the pieces were a little bit pricier. Like a frame I liked was $45. It's more of a boutique style thrift store though, so um, it's a little bit more curated, which is nice. So you can always find something you would like in there. It's already about 6 p.m., so I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Well, honestly, actually it's 4 p.m. So it's not really morning time anymore. However, um, I'm getting a little bit of a later start today. I had to do some stuff this morning and then I had a workout class. I do like these workout things at my house at one o'clock. So I got ready and headed to Santa Monica because I'm gonna be going to a Salvation Army on Santa Monica. McKenna has posted here multiple times and it just looks like such a great thrift store. Apparently there is an actual thrift store and then next to it, there's a boutique thrift store. So it's kind of like a two for one. Apparently the boutique thrift store is a little bit more higher priced. It's a little bit more curated. So we're gonna head over and check out both of them and see if I could find anything for the living room. Oh my gosh, you guys, I also forgot to share with you the shirt that I'm wearing. This is Brian from Schmood's shirt. We did a run of a hundred of these, so it's like a limited edition, and I had to grab one. Oh, birds are flying everywhere. I love the way that it looks, so thank you, Brian, but we're gonna head to the thrift store. You guys, am I not at Home Goods right now? This is literally so cute. I love the shape of this jug here. Um, I feel like this painted with the terracotta spray paint would be a perfect little flip. It screams terracotta to me for some reason. So I might grab this. I'm gonna leave it here for now at $7. I'm gonna look around a little bit more. I just came upon this little tray here as well. It's only $3.99, but it's actually really cute and the color of it's super pretty. It's like a warm toned wood.
I just got out of the boutique store and I got this California coffee table book. I thought it was kind of expensive at $8. However, they gave me a 25% off coupon at the first location. So they let me use it at the second, which was kind of nice. So it ended up being like $5.99, I believe. And I felt like that was a little bit better. Good morning, everybody. Um, Marie and I, she's over here. However, we are heading to an estate sale right now. It is bright and early. It's Well, it's not that bright and early. It's currently 10. The estate sale started at 8. Um, but we're just heading over because why not? I've never been to an estate sale before. However, the girl that I shared with you guys from TikTok posted about an estate sale website. Like estatesales.com or something. If it's different, I'll put it on the screen. But this is the website that you can use to kind of see if there's different estate sales happening in your area. We found one today. So we're currently heading over there. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me so let's see if we could find anything at this estate sale you guys this estate sales in such a cute little area look at this I found these two frames, which I really, really love. Um, I'm gonna ask the prices on them, they're not priced. And there's also a little table I wanna show you guys that I found as well. This is the little table that I was telling you guys about. I love the legs and the marble top and how it's pretty small. I think it would be perfect in the living room somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I love the way that this piece looks. This mirror is so pretty as well. She said that it's 45, which, I mean, it's not the worst deal ever, but it's so pretty, look at the detail. Oh, you guys, it's kind of hard to see, but I ended up getting the table. This was $40, and then she did both of the frames here for $15 for both. So I was like, okay, I'll grab those. Got the little table. It's so cute as well. We're going to pack it into the car and head home. All right, you guys, so that estate sale was actually really good. They had tons of really amazing items. A lot of them I felt like were priced like a little bit higher. However, it is an estate sale. Did get three things, which was great. Very happy with those and very successful trips. So we're heading home now. And it's time for me to share with you guys my collective haul of all of my thrifted finds. I am staring at them all right now on the ground and right here as well. And you guys, I am so, so happy with everything I was able to pick up. Something I noticed about a lot of the selections that I ended up making is that a lot of them were a little bit more pricier than your traditional thrifted items. I feel like sometimes you can go in and find like a lamp for like a dollar or two dollars or it's half off. However, some of the pieces here are a little bit pricier, I will say. However, they are stunning. I think I said however 19 times there, but we can look past that. Jumping on into the first item here. This is one I actually didn't even share throughout the haul at all. I found this before I even filmed this video. Video. I've had it saved and I was gonna share it with you guys at a future time in a video I figured it's perfect for right now because I actually found this at the Goodwill I popped in one day and you guys are probably like what the heck is that? I popped in when I was going to brunch one day down the street like at this outdoor restaurant and there was um, a Goodwill next door So I popped in I found this which is so cool. This is actually a decorative object, but it's extremely heavy It's probably like 10 pounds or so I had inspiration in mind when thrifting for these pieces was an Instagram account that I follow and the girl's name is Carly Page and she she has such a unique design style. I love how she mixes old and new and just makes it look so fresh, but also like aged at the same time. There's something about her aesthetic that I'm obsessed with. So I kept that in mind when thrifting a lot of these pieces. And I felt like this was just such a Carly Page piece. Like she would have this styled on a mantle or something. So I picked it up as well. There's no rhyme or reason to this piece at all other than it's a decor element and I loved it. So I got it. At the first thrift store I went to, which was the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store, which was a really, really large one. I found a couple of really great finds there. These are them. I found this really cool decorative bowl. It's like a black wooden bowl. And something about this just screams like antique vintage to me. I love the way this looks. It has this rattan edging on the outside. I'm not sure if you could see that or rattan edging as I've been educated lately. It even has it like up the side. There's just like really unique qualities to this piece. Like even this little cutout here just adds so much character and I love the finish of this bowl. This was $4.99 and then I had to pick up this little brass candlestick holder because it was only 29 cents and I was like I could definitely use that with a little candle in there styled on my mantle or a shelf and then I also ended up picking up this book. This was an agenda for the 21st century. Um, I just liked the minimalism and I like the little pop of blue on the side. I'm honestly probably not. I'll flip through this. Who knows how much I'll actually get into it, but you know. I then went to the Out of the Closet Superstore in downtown and I found some really beautiful finds. I actually found this really great ceramic lamp, which I love, love, love this piece. It has like this rusty floral on it and it's a nice dark green base and it has some really great texture. But as you can see, I actually painted my board and batten wall back here green, which you guys are gonna see in my live or my bedroom makeover coming in the future. Um, and I just thought that this would look beautiful in my room. Like as you can see, it kind of matches like the aesthetic in here. Some 
something about this just screamed that I needed it. This cost $15, which was a little bit pricier, I felt like. However, the out of the closet thrift store I did think was more of a boutique vibe, and I found some really great items there. So I just thought I would pick it up for $15. And then I came across this picture here, which I just could not pass this up. The feet on this are just so stunning. And also, how this is tarnished over time, I absolutely love the way that it looks. It's like a very like heavy duty, maybe metal, iron, or even sterling silver. I have no idea. I don't see a stamp anywhere on here that says sterling or 0.925. So not sure about that. It says 1977 on the front of it. I just thought this would look so, so pretty with some florals in there. So I'm gonna probably style this in my living room as well. And then you guys probably already saw me get this humongous brass firewood holder. Now we have a faux fireplace in the living room and I felt like this would be perfect to add some logs inside and then kind of like nestle it inside of the faux fireplace just to give the vibe that there is an actual useful fireplace. I feel like it has an aged look, which I also love. And I think it's gonna be the perfect little touch to the fireplace. So this was $10 and I felt like it was a pretty good deal because it's a substantial heavy duty piece, you know? And then I also ended up picking up three kind of coffee table books, which I'm going to use throughout my living room as well. These were some really cool design books. This first one here is called Inside New York and it's all about New York, discovering New York's classic interiors, which I thought that was a really fun book. And I'll probably be taking the paper covers off because I just love the way that these look as is. Small spaces, inspiring ideas and creative solutions. And I just thought this blue color was so, so pretty. Even these just stacked on top of each other. It's just a nice little touch to a shelf. And the last one I got here was actually a paperback book, but this is the one I was most excited about. This is Textiles for Residential and Commercial Interiors. And I've already been flipping through this book. There is so much useful information about different textiles. And if you guys didn't know, I actually was a textile major. So I kind of, not that I know all this information, but I know and I can, can relate to a lot of what they're saying in here. Like I kind of understand the different weaves, weft, warp, like wicking properties. Like I understand all of these different terminologies in here. So it's kind of interesting to go back and look through this book. And yesterday I ended up going to the Santa Monica Salvation Army. I went to the boutique store and then also the family store. And from the family store, I ended up getting this really nice vase here. I thought this would be a perfect, perfect thrift flip. So I want to kind of either spray paint this black and give it kind of like a dirty vibe. Um, my friend Zenya actually did it on a vase that she has in her living room and I've always wanted to recreate it. So I'll pop up an inspo photo here. She actually DIY'd that from a thrifted vase. This was $7.99, but it is pretty large. So I figured it would be a nice kind of vessel to have in my living room, either if I spray it terracotta or black. This next item here is not an old piece at all. This is literally from World Market. It says it on the bottom of it. This is a patina vase. And I just thought this was so pretty. I love the look of like the greenish patina color. And it has like this really nice, almost awkward, oxidized metal at the top. I then ended up picking this, I believe, bamboo tray. I just couldn't pass this up. It was really, really pretty. I love the weaving on it, and I love how the edge kind of has this, like, zigzag effect, and also the carved handles on the sides. This was $3.99, but it's, like, a pretty substantial tray, and I'm gonna try to sell this on my coffee table. After I paid for my order at the family store, they gave me this 25% off coupon, so you know I had to go over to the boutique store, so I used that on this book here. This was $8, but I got 25% off, so it was $6, and this is another, like, large-scale coffee table table book and it's all about California. So I kind of want to look through this. I haven't been able to yet, but it has such beautiful images inside of it. And I figured this would be a great little addition to some space in my living room or bedroom. Um, because of course I live in California and I love California. And just a couple more items from the estate sale this morning. These might be some of my favorite finds for sure. Um, I've never been to an estate sale in my life. And I can tell you guys right now that I will be trying to go to as many as possible because they have such unique odd finds in these houses. Like it almost feels kind of strange that you're shopping somebody's house that passed away. However, there's a need for them to get rid of everything. Like they don't need it, you know? So I ended up finding these two framed art pieces and she gave me both of these for $15. Now I'm not sure if that's an amazing deal. However, this one does have the artist on the back of it. And I actually kind of want to keep the artwork in this one. I think it's really beautiful. Um, and I love the canvas touch here. And it's just a really, really nice frame all around. Now this smaller one here, I do want to change the artwork out of because I believe this is literally a photo of somebody, but I thought the frame was great. And I like the smaller size of this one. So I picked this one up as well. And and the last piece, you guys, is this table sitting right here next to me. This I'm so happy about. Something about this piece just screams perfection to me. I love the turned legs on it. The marble on top is so stunning. I don't know if you can see that. It's just such a nice veining and the color is also great. And so I ended up getting this table for $45, which is probably a little bit pricey. However, 
it has a really nice lava marble on top and it also is just so pretty I love it and that kind of wraps up today's little thrift haul slash thrifting adventure I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see me thrift for other spaces in my house and kind of do a full video on me thrifting for pieces for that space definitely let me know in the comment section below now all of the pieces that you guys see in this video are going to be used in my living room makeover which I am currently working on it is in the works right now you guys and I can tell you right now this video is going to be epic so keep your eyes peeled on my channel over the next couple of weeks I'm not sure of an exact upload date however I'll keep you notified here and also over on my Instagram account which is Lone Fox Home make sure to follow me if you're not already the trash trucks are coming down the street right now so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thank you so much for watching today's video and if you are interested definitely check out the buy more save more sale over on lonefox.com I will link it at the top of the description box for you guys and I think that's really all again thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel and I will catch you guys all in my next video bye guys